I bet many of you guys watching right now are using a Mac, right? Well, I'm sorry to say this, but you've probably been using your Mac way too slow compared to what you could be doing. So, I'm gonna guarantee you that after this video, you're gonna be able to use your Mac way faster than ever before, and you're gonna be able to brag to your friends. Sound good? All right, let's go. A big thing to remember when wanting to use your Mac faster is focus on the keyboard. Yes, we'll use the mouse for some of these tips, but a lot of the speed will come from you knowing your keyboard like the back of your hand. And stick around until the end because I may show a bonus tip or two, and I'll show you an additional resource that can help you with your Mac even more. Here's one of my favorite tricks. You can actually drag a folder from the finder right into a save panel, and you'll instantly jump to it. Another nice time saver is if you press Command R, the current folder you're in inside of the save panel will be revealed in the finder. Instead of deleting letters one at a time, hold down the Option key to delete multiple words at a time when holding down the Delete key. Holding down the Command key lets you delete an entire line in one stroke. You can also hold down the Option key with the Shift key while using the arrow keys to make quicker bulk selections. Holding down Shift and Command with the arrow keys will let you make even larger bulk selections. To quickly access preferences, hold down the Option key along with one of the function keys on the top row of the keyboard. For example, holding down the Option key and adjusting the volume will bring you to the sound preferences. This also works with the touch bar. Using Command and the number keys inside of Safari is a quick way to access your bookmarks bar. For example, the fourth bookmark in the bookmark bar is Facebook, so Command 4 instantly jumps to Facebook. You can also use Control tab to cycle through tabs and hold down Shift Control tab to cycle through tabs backwards. In addition, holding down Command and the Grave accent is a super fast way to cycle through open windows inside of a single app. If you want to close all of the windows inside of an open application, you can hold down the Option key and click the red close button to instantly close every window. The keyboard shortcut for this is Command Option W. Inside of menus, the Option key reveals hidden shortcuts such as this. The proxy icons in documents are convenient ways to drag and drop items into other applications or onto the desktop. However, if you right click on it, you can actually get a revealed path of where your document is stored. This also works in the Finder. If you can't remember a menu command, don't bother searching through the menus. Just type it into the Help menu and a pointer will show you where it is inside of the menu and it will show the keyboard shortcut. Using Command and the number keys can change what view mode you use inside the Finder. But that's just a little bonus feature I wanted to share. What I really want to show you is how you can batch rename items in the Finder. When you make a selection, simply right click and choose Rename. You will receive a sheet of options, which will let you rename a bunch of files all at once with whatever format you wish. By launching one app, you can actually launch several apps at once. If you use a bunch of apps at the same time that are all related, don't launch them one at a time, Instead, just launch one application that opens everything for you. These types of automations can be built into single applications inside of the Automator app. And as a parting gift, you can use Command Q inside of the App Switcher to quickly close applications. Now the final resource I wanted to tell you about was an opportunity to train with me. Yes, watching the video is nice, but what if it was interactive and you could hear my voice and I could hear yours? Well, I can help you learn the Mac and other tech products through my service, Tidbytes Training. So you can visit tidbytestraining.com to book an appointment or just leave a comment down below and we can get something started. So there you have it guys, a quick list of tricks to keep you using your Mac at full speed. And guess what? You can have some bragging rights now. When you use a computer really fast in front of your friends, you look smart. So let me know if you have any other questions or comments below or even suggestions. I'm here to read them and I'm here to help you out. But thanks for watching guys and I really hope you learned something. And I'll see you in the not too distant future.